Welcome to the first day of our flexibility challenge. Today, we're gonna to focus on our chest and shoulders. We hold a lot of tension in this area of our bodies. When we're stressed, we begin to shrug the shoulders up, which makes the trap area tight. We begin to cave in, closing up our heart. And we wanna just keep our hearts open and light and drop those shoulders, letting the weight of the world go. Let's get it started. We want to start by first warming up our shoulders and the chest area first. So we'll do a few movements to help activate these muscles so they can get deep into these stretches. So first thing we want to do is lean over. I want you to extend your arms out in front of you, reach all the way out to your fingertips, and then squeeze your elbows all the way back. Let's do that 10 times. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cross the hands back and forth 10 times. Just cross the hands back and forth 10 times. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, then just take some shoulder shrugs up and back. Shrug it up and back. Yeah. And then one at a time, roll the shoulders full. Roll the shoulders full. It's like a little dance move. <laughs> All right. Now that we're warmed up, let's get into some stretching. So for this first one, I want you to find an open wall in your home or wherever you are doing these, these movements. Just find an open wall. You have to pause the video to find the wall do what you gotta do, but we'll get right into it. So I want you to make a 90 degree bend through your arm. Your elbow should be in line with your shoulder. Try to push your shoulder up against the wall as much as you possibly can. That opposite hand is gonna come underneath the shoulder and then use that hand to twist your body. Stay as close to the wall as possible so you can really feel that stretch through the head of your shoulder here and also through your pec, your chest area. Make sure you do both sides. Once you've done that, come back down to your mat and we're gonna do a double needle thread. So we'll start with the right arm first. It's gonna be our main focus. Right arm is gonna go towards your left and then the left arm is gonna go towards your right. Slide down as comfortably possible, but this is gonna really stretch out your shoulder blades, the upper back area, sliding down. You should also feel it on the side of your shoulder here. The more you lean forward, the more pressure you're gonna to apply to the stretch. The more you lean back, the less pressure. But I would recommend you kind of rocking back and forth until you find a sweet spot to settle down into. Once you've done that, make sure you do the opposite way too. So the left arm is gonna be on top and then the right arm is gonna be underneath the left. Slide down again. in the same amount of time on each side so we make sure we keep the body as balanced as possible. And lastly, we'll do a reverse tabletop. So this is a pretty popular yoga move, but you wanna spread your feet hips width apart, hands down by your hips with the fingertips facing the back of the room. And then just lift your hips up as high as you can till you feel your chest and your shoulders begin to open. You can drop your head back. And that is too much for you right now. The modification would be to come into a bridge pose. So you would lay down on your back here, lift your hips up, and then roll your shoulders underneath your body, interlacing the fingers below you. Push your chest and towards the chin, lifting up as high as you can, squeeze the glutes and push down through the heels. Let your belly be free. And then roll it on down. All right. Thank y'all for joining me on the first day of the Yoga Flexibility Challenge. I made these videos short and sweet so that you can get a jump start to your yoga practice and also just getting more flexible within your body. 
I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.